is here. The champ is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your boy Champ, and this is the Champ is Here show. Hey, this is Six. How are you guys? It's your boy, Mr. Long Champ here, co-hosting. Co-hosting. So today's our first um episode with our new co-host, Six aka six series but we're gonna work i guess you know your your intro you know we got to come in with you know gabe i got the yeah 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 gabe has the co-hosting so i guess six we're gonna work something out maybe one two three four five six guys it's one two three four five six <laughs> that's no. too many numbers to count <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like what, like Kourtney Kardashian? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So before we start, just want to give a shout out to our viewers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's watching. Thank you. All right. So today's episode, um, I wanted to talk about male and female energy. Um, and I just felt like that was something that was missing on the show i felt the show was missing like this um je ne sais quoi you know what i mean there's there's an element oui. that we were missing so um he's six so i wanted to ask you do you do you understand or what do you know of male and female energy do you know anything about it or um i think we was we were speaking a little bit about positive and negative um last time and yeah, there's some positive female energy, some negative one too. I mean, I just kind of want to get, you know, let's let's see how much we can get into this. Okay. So it's not when we think of positive and negative, we think of good and bad, but it's not it's not bad or a good thing because remember that everything is always perception. It's not a bad or good thing. It's not um, anything sexual to that nature. It's just a vibration because everything is in pairs and everything is an opposite. So daytime and you have nighttime. Nighttime isn't bad. It's just another version in the dimension. If you understand right. what I mean. If right, you right. Up, you have a down. If you have an east, you have a West, you know what I mean? So right. Everything. So since you have male and female, male being positive and female being negative. It's just know? opposite, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. No, no. It's, then you have bad, you have good, you have hot, you have cold, you have summer, you have winter. That's all it is. It's just negative energy, not saying you're a negative person. It's just the opposite size of a magnet. Right. It's also, just, it, sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, yeah, also like uh, another term that they use is yin and yang. <clears throat> like on the Eastern uh, side of the world, they use yin and, yin and yang. Oh, yeah. Perfect. It's, it's directly, it's just relative. Right. That's it's a, it. Yeah, it's just relative. Yeah. So, and I can dive a little bit deeper. You see negative energy is more like colors you know it's like when women um taking when they're going to work they say you know what i want to take the scenic route well men for example are more direct we just go from point a to point b you see positive energy is just black and white it's just action while negative energy is thought mm, you know what this I mean? is good yeah so negative energy is, I'm hungry, I want to make a sandwich. Positive energy is going into the kitchen and actually making it. You, right. need, you need the pair to be one. Like Gabe had said, it's like a yin and yang. You know what I'm saying to you? The two so, sides of our brain as well. The creative is, side yeah. and the logical side. So you have the creative side would be the feminine energy and the logical side would be the, uh, the positive. Positive energy. Yeah. So... So I just felt like, for example, I wanted to also just bring that dynamic into the show and bring negative energy 
something, someone who's probably more creative, you know, also another example is positive energy is sick, sticking to a recipe. Hey, this is exactly a cup of this, a dash of that, while negative energy is adding your own spice to it, you know, adding different flavors to it. You know what I mean? Just being creative. So yeah. I just wanted to have a different perspective and, you know, and this yeah. is why you six are on the show. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. And it's crazy because I was reading the Kevin Trudeau rereading for like the sixth time. This time I'm actually taking notes. And today he was talking about the mental and the action part of um, the training balance. Go yeah, ahead. The, the training balance scale. Yeah, the training balance scale, right? So and both are, are absolutely necessary, you know, for sure. So it's, it's kind of dope that this is kind of like the topic that we're discussing right now. Right. And I also want to point out that too is that creative energy or negative energy is 99%. Right. It's not, this is why you have more women in the world. This is why, you know, just dark or black absorbs. You see women receive and men give, you know what I mean? Just right. the way our bodies are shaped. That's why when we have a plug, they say there's a male end and the female end. Right. You know what I'm saying to you. So both necessary. Both necessary. The man is just one percent, but that one percent of action is very, very um necessary or for lack of a better crucial, word. Crucial for sure. Very crucial because that one percent is what's gonna get the job done. But that ninety-nine percent. The planning phase takes yes. the longest part. You know what I Absolutely. mean? So um, that's why I just just wanted to you know talk about you know what the dynamics of male and female energy is and why it's necessary. And we can go even deeper into it and break it down into quadrants where you have negative, negative, and positive, negative, and positive, negative, and just the days. You know, the day really starts at night. The day starts at 12 a.m., which right. is night. night is the thought where you're sleeping and resting. The day starts at 6 a.m., goes into the afternoon, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Then it goes into the evening, and the evening is your planning phase. This is when you actually really start your day the next day because that's when you're getting ready for the next day. You're planning, you're getting your clothes together. You're writing down um, your to-do list for the next day. Absolutely. You know, you're doing it in the feminine. Right. How do, how do you, what's the physical manifestation of that? Women actually getting the food together, getting, preparing. You know what I mean? When you look at a traditional home, not in today's Correct. Time, I'm just saying, hey, listen, babe, can you do me a favor? start ironing my clothes, whatever, whatever, getting you ready to get you off into the day so the man can come yeah, this is be the breadwinner and stuff like that. So that that's what that dynamic is. And if, you know, you can um, definitely go more in depth into the spirit yeah. science. Yeah, because what, yeah, what I found was, you know, we have a lot more positive energy in men now in this millennium. Because, you know, we're, we're talking about like traditional... And traditional household where you have the women doing all the planning sometimes even from the financial aspect they would be you know budgeting and basically everything was taken care of back in the days by a woman but now you have men planning meals um taking care of children uh scheduling their you know activities schooling doing homework with them so you have a lot more interaction and a lot more positive energy when it comes to the male so negative that's energy. also negative negative energy yeah, yeah no it's all good it's all good yeah so it's more negative energy and then you have more women now positive energy with more in this time women are being more served assertive correct they're, they're definitely taking posi more positions of power women yeah. are more in the workplace you know um being uh, action driven very action driven mm -hmm. um very powerful you know you um, Michelle Obama is a, a a great testament to that. 
you know, yeah. just to name a few. So there's a lot of women there being more assertive and there's a lot more men being more submissive in the sense of, like you said, being in the home, helping with the planning, helping decorate the crib, having more insight on how to raise the children and you know what I mean? And just balance yeah. certain things. So it, all it is is just a balance. And right, right. Balance that you are and women being in touch with their masculine side and men being in tune with their feminine side doesn't make you less of a man or a woman. It actually makes you stronger when you can't, when you incorporate both sides of the spectrum. So real Absolutely. quick, Seth, just um, not to, you know, deviate from what we're talking about, but definitely uh, what you were saying earlier, so people don't get, don't get it confused that, you know, the masculine energy, it does not, it's not confined, it's not only men, like it's a linear energy, it's the same thing. Like we didn't really get too much into it, but maybe next time, as far as uh, talking about astrology, having all of the different signs that are either masculine or feminine signs. Yeah. So don't, you know, people don't get it, you know, don't get it confused that masculine energy means it's only male or only a guy or female, you know, feminine energy being only a woman. Um, we all, you know, I, I'm a Virgo. Virgo is actually a feminine sign or a negative sign. So, yeah, I just wanted to, to throw that in there. Yeah, that's, that's pretty, that's good because that that is absolutely correct. There, um, There isn't just, it's not a bad thing to have both. It's not a bad thing to be negative. It's not a bad thing to be positive either. It's absolutely crucial to have both. If you have both, you'll be, you'll have more chances of being successful versus just being one-sided in the whole situation. Because you can do a lot of thinking, you can do a lot of planning, and you can do a lot of you know, processing with your brain and thought process and do nothing about it. And all of a sudden, you have nothing. If you don't have that ability to take action and whatever it is that you're doing, you won't, you won't be successful in whatever it is that you're planning. So it's crucial to tap into both types of energy. 100%, 100%. And, um... I wanted to give, I wanted to touch more of that when we spoke about astrology, but. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. I just, you know, giving the people a teaser, letting them know that so, astrology definitely has to do with masculine and feminine energy. So me and six are both Aries, which is a masculine sign. Right. So right. When it comes to fire signs, which is your Aries, Sagittarius, Leos, and your wind signs, which is uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, those are masculine signs. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Earth signs, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, water signs, Scorpio, um, Cancer, Pisces. and Pisces are both negative signs. If you know what I'm saying to you. So you can see how that correlates and manifests on a day to day when you interact with those type of people. Because when you notice that, more negative signs are more creative and you'll see that more in the music industry. But a lot of those artists, Pop Smoke was a cancer, 50's a cancer, Little Kim's yeah. a cancer. You know what right. I mean? A lot of these artists are very uh, um, creative. And they, Beyonce, Beyonce's a, Beyonce's a Virgo. Michael Jackson. Jackson. Yeah, 100%, 100%. Mm -hmm. So you'll see that there's a lot of success with um, you know, creative minds in that, you know? So right. that's basically it. That's um, all I got, but I just, you know, I'm just happy that, you know, Six is here and she can just switch up the dynamic on the show and just give her perspective. So Six, did you know of any of this stuff that we just talked about? Or you, you probably- uh, uh, No, I kind of just wanted to throw a question out there for, you know, anyone who's watching, if they want to comment and go ahead and let us know if they feel like they're positive or they're negative. And if they are positive or negative, could it, how much positive and how much negative, if they're, if they're a combination of both, do they feel that they are? Let us know, we'd definitely be interested in knowing if you're more of, more of a, a head person, if you're thinking constantly, or if you, and also if your sign correlates with, you know, you're being positive or negative, does that match up? I, I'm definitely would be, you know, very interested in finding all this out from you. I want, to, I want to see that. I would love to read it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I never thought of asking the people the question. Yeah. Why not? That this is this is exactly what I'm talking about. 
we, we, we've had, yeah, no, it's been it's been a minute. I was gonna say we have, but it's all, all, usually just in regards to you know what what they want to hear. <laughs> but no, I just thought she, to keep it calm to keep it uh topic related. Gabe, she but the difference is is that she asserted herself smoothly with the finesse and asked the question like that. It was strong but it was still necessary what we needed. I don't know if you asked that question before in the past, I don't remember it. I'm going to remember today. I'm going to remember what she did today. So this is what I'm talking about. We got to get them in. We got to get them engaged. We want to know. Okay. Okay. Because okay. people want to be heard. Okay. That's one thing for sure that I know. People want to speak their mind and they want to be heard. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Um, anything else that you got for us, Gabe? Do you have anything else? I uh, know we can wrap it up. We can wrap it up. I'm good. All right, guys. I just want to um shout out um Brook and Cove Yacht Club. I uh, wanted to a big shout out to uh, Moving Keys. A uh, big shout out to. Um, Long champ success, you know what I mean. Um, that's basically it. Gabe, you have any shout outs? Um, once once again, shout out to the audience, the listeners, you know, Spotify listeners, YouTube, YouTube viewers, iTunes, all the you know, all our all our audience. Appreciate you guys. And a uh, big shout out to Home by Six. I mean, hey. <laughs> don't forget me. <laughs> no, no, yeah. you got to do it. That's where yeah, everybody's got to do their own shout out. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Go go check it out. Um, big things coming. You know, we talked about the candle last week. So just stay tuned. I'm super excited. And uh, also, let us know about your positive, negative energy. If it correlates directly with your sign. I am very intrigued. All How right, about you, Cass? And um, guys, please do me a favor. Don't forget to hit that like, like or subscribe button. Cheers.